when I was really young, uh, my pop would be like, Tess, I can't see you on the field. Like, I don't know which one you are. And because he was, he was, he was, an, he was an old guy, you know, you couldn't really see what's going on. So he gave me this pink bow and was like, can you please wear this in your hair? So ever since then, I've worn a pink bow and now he's gone and I wear it in remembrance of him. So he's watching from wherever he is now. Welcome in to the beautiful but very cold and windy city Geneva here in Switzerland. Another stop on our tour of Europe and to help me tour this wonderful city today, a young rising Aussie star from Servet. So my special guest today to show me around this wonderful city of Geneva, Tessa Tampa. Tessa, thank you so much. It's great to be here. And this place is beautiful. How has life been here in Geneva so far? It's been definitely an interesting transition, but um, one that has opened so many opportunities for me. And I've loved it here so far. At the beginning, it was definitely very challenging, particularly with the language barrier. But over the months that I've been here, it's definitely gotten easier um, and it feels like home now. I love the club. I love how we play in three different competitions. That's incredible because we have games in different leagues all the time, constantly changing, constantly having to bring a new level and step up. You live in France, you play here in Geneva and the stadium is not too far, so everything seems very nice and accessible. Yes, very easy to get anywhere you like to go, which is super awesome, particularly without a car, which is me. <laughs> Tessa, here at the Stade de Genève, incredible. Mm -hmm. How special is it to play here at this venue? I love playing here. The whole atmosphere when there's a crowd is incredible. How does it compare to stadiums and the general feel in Australia from your experience in Newcastle previously? Here really represents home. And when I first walked in, I was so intimidated by all of the like, this is the vet, this is the vet, this is our home ground, this is our stadium. Whereas at home, it, like, it didn't feel so much like our stadium, whereas here this is definitely our stadium. Getting the exposure to play teams like Juventus, Chelsea, Wolfsburg, it's been unbelievable. I never ever thought I would ever say that I played those teams. And to then have them play here in front of the town of Geneva and home, it's amazing the support we get, the people that come and watch, the everyone here talks about it. Internationally, if I can ask you, Australian-born, Dutch background, Dutch passport, mm -hmm. eligible for both. Yeah. If the opportunity came calling, would the Dutch national team be something to consider? It's interesting because I never grew up there. I don't speak the language, so there's definitely barriers. And I, it's like uh, the opportunity would be amazing, but it's not my home, if that makes sense. So it could definitely become my home, but right now, Australia is Australia is everything. How has it been adapting though with the language side of things? Very, very difficult. My French is definitely growing. Um, I get lessons, which has been really, really good, but it's definitely been a challenge, particularly at training. Like almost everything is in French. When you go to a restaurant, it's in French. Not many people speak English. And I think slowly, very, very slowly, I'm getting there. <laughs> As we like to finish off here, we mm -hmm. ask some rapid fire questions. So okay. I've got a few for you very quickly. Here we go. <laughs> So tell me, your passion for football started where? With my brothers. We used to play all the time when we were younger and I started with them. Your favourite player of all time? Honestly, it changes a lot. Right now, I would say Steph Catley. Your favourite thing about life in Geneva or Geneva in general? I love the mountains here. I've never been in this type of environment before, so I love the mountains. <laughs> Swiss chocolate or Swiss cheese, important one? Chocolate, of course. <laughs> And lastly, what do you miss most about home in Australia? Uh, obvious answer is my family, but also the beach and the weather. They are good things to miss, <laughs> but you've got a very, very nice setup here. I do. Thank you so much for the tour around the club, the city. It's been an absolute pleasure. And of course, we wish you the best of luck. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.